Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at the wildcard character in regular expressions in Perl. And it's my intention in this course, as much as possible, to give you in, in every video something that you could really use. But um, it occurs to me that if I give you a complete script that does something different in every tutorial, then you're going to get lost with regular expressions because regular expressions are kind of a, almost a language unto themselves. So it's probably going to be better if I break those down a little bit. And for that reason, I thought in this program, I'll take this program that we've seen before, which just reads a file and it displays um, a line of the file in the console if it matches this regular expression. So it's going through the lines of this file one by one, actually this file, and if the line matches this regular expression here, so we've got if it matches this, then we display the line down here, otherwise we don't. And I want to use this to introduce the wildcard character to you. So at the moment I'm matching egg with a space either side of it, and so that's not going to match like egg full stop because then there wouldn't be a space here. So if, and if we run this, we see that all the lines on the file that have egg with a space either side are being output down here. Now supposing we want to match his, the word his, I can type his here and of course it's going to work just the same. And again it has to have his with a space either side because I've put spaces in here literally uh, between these two um, slashes. And if I want to ma match, match has, obviously I just put has in there and I can match has. Now supposing I want to match his or has, and in fact let's supposing I want to match any three letter word starting with H, ending in S, and with some character in the middle, I can just put a dot in there. And in regular expressions in Perl and Python and Java and a whole bunch of languages, in fact I think pretty much in regular expressions in general, dot means any character at all. So if I run this now, I'm going to get a bunch of lines that have somewhere in them something like his or possibly has. Uh, we've probably got a has in there somewhere. There's a has and there's a his in this one and in this one there's a his and so on. His, has. You get the idea. So dot can match any character at all. And in fact, dot, it won't just match um, letters or numbers. It will match any, literally anything. It will even match a space. So if I put h.s.g, that would match, um, well, let's see, what does it match, actually, if anything? Let's run it. I don't think that does match anything. Supposing I want to match has gone, then I would say, I could say h.s dot g, right? So that should match has g from has gone. But maybe um, there aren't any occurrences in there. Let's try um, let's try this and see if this matches anything. Okay, nothing. Well, I'll try something simpler, like supposing I want to match I had. Let's see if that works. And actually Let's get rid of these spaces. So I run this. So that there I've got I had. But what I wanted to show you is that even if I put a dot here, it will still match it because um, a space counts as a character. Any, basically any single space, whether it's blank or it's got any character at all in it, whether it's an apostrophe or a letter or anything, will be matched by a dot. So if I put, I could put. Um, dot here and that will also match I have as well as I had because that could be a V. So here we've got yeah, I had, I had and probably yeah there's I have. So take home messages pretty simple dot matches absolutely any one space character whatsoever and if you want more than one one space character you can use more than one dot and there are other techniques that we can use and we will get onto quantifiers in the future but for now I just want to point out because it is really important to know that you can do stuff like I dot dot 
A dot. And what will this match? This will match I followed by any two characters at all. And they don't have to be the same or anything. And one of them could be a space or they both could be. It doesn't matter. Any two characters followed by an A followed by any other character. So if I run this, then we will get stuff like I was because we're matching I, then any character, any other character, which happens to be W, then an A, and then we're matching any character, which happens to be S. So um, that's it for this tutorial. You can use whole strings of dots to match uh, anything you like. And we're going to move on to looking at stuff like capturing the results of what you've actually matched so you can find out what has actually been matched and uh, quantifiers which enable you to specify how many of a thing you should match in a very flexible way. And you can find this code on caveofprogramming.com and until next time, happy coding.